Buenos dias, minioninos. It's Wheezy here for another Wheezy's Weekly Wrap Up. Today, we're going to go over everything that we was, post we was posted? Everything that was posted to the channel this past week. And we're going to talk about the Battlefield 2042 delay. Let's go talk about it. All right, minions, let's get right into it. The first video I posted to the channel this past week uh, was a Battlefield 4 gameplay. Again, still getting hyped for Battlefield. Um, and uh, so I played a game where I was like, you know what, I want to get some vehicle gameplay in Battlefield 4. And I jumped into a match, and I was like, I'll go for the heli, I'll go for the plane. I wasn't, like, I wasn't sure exactly what vehicle I wanted. In a single match of Conquest, I ended up getting in essentially every single vehicle in the game uh, in one gameplay. So uh, I live commentated it and posted it. It was actually a lot of fun. And it reminded me that even though I prefer infantry combat in shooters in general, vehicle gameplay in Battlefield is actually quite satisfying. So here's a clip from that video if you missed it. Woo! Scratch one! Alright, let's go see if we can put some shots on him. Woo! Tank, you're welcome. I just saved your life. Oh, that tank. Ugh, reloading. Sorry. Excuse, please. Hey! You guys want to cut that shit out? That'd be great. Thank you. Make sure you go check that out if you're hankering for some battlefield vehicles while you're waiting for 2042. We'll get to that. We'll get to that. The next video I posted helped raise my spirits after the delay. Pleasantly surprised that I had completely forgotten about a PlayStation 5 exclusive game that was launching, Deathloop. I've been looking forward to this game ever since I heard about it, because it looked really interesting. And then, boom, all of a sudden last week it launched, and I was like, oh, I completely forgot about that. So, I got it, I've been playing a bunch of it, I absolutely love it. It feels very, very Bioshocky, which is kind of the highest praise I can give a game, since Bioshock is my personal, all-time favorite video game. Um, so, yeah, I've, I've been playing a bunch of that. I'm rendering a bunch of the uh, fuller, longer live commentary videos to go up on Storytime. I've already got a few uploaded, but they're not, like, posted yet. Um, but I took the first episode, cut it down for, like, a uh, kind of a high-speed mashup. Uh, so it's interesting to get a feel for what the game was like. It's entertaining, uh, the game, as well as, I think, the gameplay. So here's a clip from that video if you missed Deathloop. So fucking idiots. <sighs> Oh, they don't know what this. <sighs> oh shit! I'm sorry. Oh, that was. Oh, that was the wrong button. Oh my god, that was the wrong button. I was trying to stand up. Oh, I need to remap melee. Oh, <laughs> I'm so <laughs> sorry. Five. Fuck it. Oh. Okay. Here goes. Oh, no, I'm not. Oh, what? What? You, you gotta be shitting me! Are you listening to me? You wrote it on Black Reef. You already know the code. What the uh, fuck does that cult. mean? Hello? Just tell me, me. I'm waiting. Postcard, dumbass. You wrote it on the Black Reef postcard. Oh, I threw it. Okay, okay. gotta go again. Wait, wait, no, wait. Oh, good. Oh, God. Ow. Okay. All right. I'm good. I just dropped myself. What kind of fucked up world is this? <laughs> this voice acting okay. is fantastic. Postcard. Postcard. Get the postcard. Get off the speech. All right. I got it. I got it. So yeah, that game is just a ton of fun. If you want more Deathloop, 
Keep an eye on Wheezy's Storytime, my other channel. You can find links for that on my channel page. Um, but yeah, I'm planning on posting more content over there. The way I've been doing that, there's there's still, Storytime is still not getting a lot of traction, mainly because I haven't posted to it since, what, like May. <laughs> but um, I know that that's where, when I do single player games and I capture them, I'm going to be uploading that stuff. It'll kind of just be organic over time. But if you're more interested in single player gameplay, that's a good channel to keep your eye on. Throw a subscription over there and it might pop up in your feed every once in a while. Um, after that, I played a, another or made another video from the Call of Duty Vanguard beta. Last week, when they did the PlayStation uh, Early Access beta, I did three matches, my first three matches, and posted that. Um, so I decided when they did the second phase of the beta this past week that I would do the same thing. I played three more matches just turned the game on, played three, commentated it, posted it. Here's a clip from that video. Excuse us, please. Did I hear a footstep behind me? I did! Hold him up! Out of time! I heard, I kind of, I kind of sort of heard a footstep there. I don't know why I heard a slight footstep that time. But, apparently I did. Oh god, see there! That guy was literally right next to me, throwing a grenade, and I had no idea. I ran right past him. That never zone. would happen in any other Call of Duty ever. You managed to impress me. Good you job. You managed to impress me. You're quite a fella. I might want to kiss you, cause you're pretty, and you shit good sometimes. So, you know, stuff. Go check that one out if you want to see how week two of the Vanguard beta kind of went to get a feel for it. I'm going to probably do a uh, kind of a beta wrap-up video, hopefully uh, early this week. Um, we'll see how I'm feeling. I've got a lot of clips of, like, absolute horseshit that happened during the beta that might be nice to put together into a, into a nice little bitch fest. Um, where I can, I guess, somewhat productively... Uh, point out things that are wrong with the game that could hopefully be improved and some things that I don't think can be so anyway after that the last video I posted last week was a hardware setup video you guys been around a while you know in addition to being like loving gaming I'm also a computer and a hardware nerd so I got a new piece of equipment that I'm loving in my setup because I have like this multi-screen PC setup and I use my main monitor to both on my computer and to switch over when I'm gaming. And that's been kind of irritating for a few reasons. And this new KVM switch that I got actually is a absolute lifesaver. It's making my life so much nicer as far as helping my setup be kind of transition effortlessly between gaming and that. And I actually managed to get a, the KVM switch to keyboard and mouse KVM switch between my PC and my PlayStation 5. So it's really interesting, it's a cool piece of kit. Um, so go and check out that video and here's a clip. But with my mouse and this normal keyboard, if I switch over to the PlayStation 5, who's using this keyboard, I am. Holy for holy moly. <laughs> So the same keyboard and mouse I was using, is there, does Windows bring up the PlayStation? I don't know how to bring up the PlayStation menu on the keyboard. So you can see this is my PlayStation and I'm not the first person to use keyboard and mouse on a PlayStation, obviously. But am I the first person stupid or crazy enough to use a keyboard and mouse uh, through a KVM switch? on their PlayStation so that they can effortlessly switch back and forth from working on their computer to poning nebs right in the face keyboard. It does, obviously this USB 2.0 port is connecting, but, but oh my goodness, I, <laughs> yeah, I, I just love nerding out on hardware. Um, I'm still planning on in the future, hopefully the near future, going through and doing more of a full uh, setup kind of behind the scenes video so you guys can get a get an idea of 
all of this equipment that I've got here because <laughs> I love nerding out on this stuff. But anyway, that's what was on the channel this past week. You, unless you've been living under a rock, you know that Battlefield 2042 has been officially delayed. Um, I forget the exact term that they use in the in their announcement, but they said that they were going to like push back or change the. They like deliberately didn't use the word delay, even though they're moving the launch of the game back like a full month. Which also means the beta, which was scheduled for this month, September, has also been pushed to sometime in October. We're not sure of yet. So. I thought it was interesting, it would be an interesting topic to talk about because, blah, 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 because uh, with the Vanguard beta being up these last couple of weeks and it kind of being a mess, especially with like the audio being broken, like there are some technical issues that just, like overall the engine feels pretty fine, like the gunplay is fine, there's no like crazy glitches, some of the, some of the level design, like some of the walls and stuff disappear and reappear. Um, but the audio was like broken and some of the, anyway, it's, I guess it's kind of what you would expect from a beta, although you'd kind of hope the way that they do betas nowadays, they're not real betas. It's not like six months out at launch or a year out from launch. These betas are public demos where they can have plausible deniability and say, well, this isn't how the real game's going to be. But it is indicative, as we've seen from games in the past, going all the way back to COD 4 when they did their beta, going all the way back to like Medal of Honor. These things are pretty indicative of how the game is going to be, at least at launch and the first few months after. So that said, perhaps pushing the launch back of Battlefield 2042 and the beta is the right move because this Battlefield game, after Battlefield 1 and Battlefield 5, especially kind of the mess of Battlefield 5, needs to be a solid hit for EA, right? They're going live service. Like, I know they had a little bit of that in Battlefield 5, but they're going like full, they're pushing for that Call of Duty, like, you know, modern feel. Like, they've got the modern gameplay while Call of Duty's slipping back to World War II, so it's a good opportunity. They're going live service, they're going seasonal content, they're going the full Warzone kind of sort of, for lack of a better comparison right now, Fortnite, Apex Legends, whatever modern shooter with seasonal game pass or battle pass content and stuff like that. So Battlefield really needs to get this right. So I can understand them wanting to make a good first impression and especially since the lie, whatever the early access test that they did, generally speaking from most sources was rough. Um, I think maybe they de decided that doing some more bug fixing and making sure it's polished even before it goes to public beta um, is important and maybe they had enough time to get the game polished before the before it was supposed to launch in october um but considering that they made pre-order bonuses and all this stuff the beta is essentially part of what you pay for with the game release now if they needed the beta to be more polished i'm suspecting maybe they pushed the beta back a month <laughs> more specifically than the full game launch um and so then they just had to correspondingly do that because they promised people early access if you pre-order and blah, 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 blah. So hopefully it's a good thing. We'll see. If Battlefield 2042 launches a month late and it's still a hot mess, then I, we'll see. But, you know, game development being what it is over the past 10, 15, 20 years, kind of the name of the game is launch once, update constantly. <laughs> um, so what are you guys' thoughts? How do you feel about the the delay how do you feel about the vanguard beta 2042 share your thoughts links for everything down below i love you guys and i'll see you in the next one